Logan here with the first watch. I just saw The Irishman, directed by the incomparable Martin Scorsese. And first impressions after, you know, sitting through 210 minutes of movie <laughs> or film is that I feel like it's very Scorsese, yet it's very stripped down at the same time as well. Like, definitely feels like a Scorsese movie. With all the typical Scorsese elements. But I feel like it's a little bit laid back. If that makes sense. You always charge a guy with a gun. With a knife, you run away. So you charge with a gun, with a knife, you run. It's definitely a Scorsese movie. But it's not like... It doesn't have like the energy of, say, maybe The Departed or going back earlier, Casino, Goodfellas. I like to think of um, Color of Money, just with the crazy editing and number of shots that probably had to be done to cut the movie like that. So I thought it was definitely enjoyable. Just saw it at the Egyptian. There was a line for the next showing when I walked out but it seems to be pretty popular for the two weeks it's gonna be in the theaters. The 10 a.m. showing was the first showing in Hollywood of it, so I saw that one. Um, but what, what is there to say about it? Like it had like, like, I'm gonna go back to my original comment, you know, it feels like a Scorsese movie, but just a stripped down Scorsese movie. Definitely, he's not so crazy with the the shot composition this time, it's very much, the whole movie is mostly, I'd say, 75% over the shoulders. You know, conversations between Frank and, uh, and Jimmy Hoffa, that's pretty much the whole movie, and their relationship, and how he forms that relationship, and Frank's dealings with the mob, and his involvement in the union. Um, but overall, I definitely think you should see it in the theater. I don't know if you would want to watch it on Netflix. Um, seeing it in the theater, you know, people are laughing at all the jokes, and maybe if you missed a joke or two, you would uh, catch it real quick because there was laughter in the audience. But I don't think you'd get that experience at home, especially if you have to go to the bathroom or something. Luckily, this time, I didn't have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I just saw The Lighthouse the other day, and I had to... I was harboring a piss for about basically the whole movie so thankfully that didn't happen this time but overall I'd give it about an eight I don't want to ramble on too long obviously I think Scorsese was more focused on the performances the de-aging thing I think works fine I don't really complain about it except for on Joe Pesci where you can kind of tell that maybe that was the hardest actor to de-age I don't know why just you can tell in, in some of the scenes it just didn't look quite right um, but anyway here's some quick comments first initial thoughts and so maybe I can say something else about it later on when I think more deeply about it but anyway I'm gonna end this video and see y'all next time adios